Hi, um, this is my first vlog and many people might be knowing me, um, those who don't know me, uh, my name is Shatadal Dash. I have been making a lot of uh, YouTube videos in the past and this is my first uh, vlog uh, which I'm going to make and today I'm going to talk about uh, project management. Um, many of my colleagues uh, have approached me in the past asking that how do we clear the project management exam. I myself am a certified project manager, uh, a PMB certified. I cleared my exam in August 2021. So I'm going to share uh, some of things, some, some good practices uh, through this video. This is uh, not a video to explain you how to clear the exam. It's uh, how can how the things can be easier. Okay, so that, that's the idea with which I'm making this video. So I'm going to uh, tell some of my experiences in, in the process. So the first thing is that uh, uh, some uh, if, you, if you are really interested in doing a project manager uh, role or you're looking for a job change into a project manager role, uh, you need to understand the uh, journey of a project manager. The best way is that if you can get a role, even without the certification, if you uh, get a chance of uh, working as a project manager in a small firm or in a small project, that's the best thing. You will understand the process of a project manager. So that's the very uh, easiest way uh, to get an experience, to get a feeling of a project manager. Uh, or you can uh, work as a project assistant to a project manager. So that, that's another thing that you can do or you can try shadowing a project manager. So that's how you can understand or learn the uh, life of a project manager. You need to understand the process of a project management, what is expected out of a project manager, what, uh, what, what is expected from his role. So uh, that's very important. Uh, after uh, that is done, you need, to, you need to understand how the operations process, how the, how the business process runs, what's, what's the, how the, how the things work in an organization. So like, uh, for example, how the supply chain works, how the quality management works, how the stakeholder management is done. Okay, so uh, you, you must have heard that these are the knowledge areas in, given in Timbok. So you need to understand these processes actually from the people those who are doing it. Okay, so that you understand the business process and that will make your learning easier uh, when you are reading the Pimbok. So, so the third thing comes that you have to read the Pimbok and once you know the role of a project manager and you know the business processes or operations processes that will be make your reading of the Pimbok easier. So that's very important. So you have to read the Pimbok. And apart from reading the PIMBOK, there will be a few more concepts that will be coming in the PIMBOK that you need to uh, read a, are those uh, leadership techniques. Like one of the example is the leadership technique. So what are the types of leadership techniques? So what you can do in that? So for that, you have to go to the reference books. So a lot of things will be given which will not be elaborated in the PIMBOK. So you have to read some additional books depending on what is the topic. So I'm not going to specify which book, but, but you have to find out the best book that can explain you those concepts. So, so that is another thing that you need to do. And another uh, one last thing that you need to understand that what is expected out of a project manager. Now, this is my uh, understanding that a project manager is not expected to deliver the documents or the deliver the project or uh, on time to the customer. So the role of a project manager is to bring a change, like changing the customer perception or um, changing, uh, bringing a customer uh, employee satisfaction or uh, to improve the profitability. His project should bring some change, some uh, distinguishable change into the system. So. That is what uh, is the out expected outcome of the project. It's not a product uh, out of the project. So you have to you have to have a tangible um, change in the system. So these are some some of the things that you need to understand. Uh, this might not be in totality, but I thought that this is what I need to share with uh, everybody. And um, one last thing that I feel that. Um, that needs to be done is the um, uh, 
sorry um so the last thing that i want to tell is the there is a lot of scope in the project management role so don't get disheartened uh the, the, it's a beautiful career ahead of you so uh, don't get disheartened by the failure of the exam please prepare it properly and attempt it once again you will clear it there is a lot of future in project management right so i hope this will be beneficial to some of the people so thank you very much bye bye